Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. You are here with GBHL Jamie. Oh, and GBHL James. That's right. And it's competition time! <laughs> now I do have to make an apology. That was awesome. <laughs> what was awesome? Second. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh this yes. You, you, you yeah, this is competition time. Uh, I'm making an apology, and the reason I'm making an apology is because I actually did a competition like a week ago. So we're continuing on with our competition video, and we did do a competition video a little while ago, but unfortunately... No, no, no we didn't. Sorry, you I did. did. You did. I did a competition video. I had no input ago. in this one. <laughs> Um, and the idea was to try and find sort of the biggest GBHL YouTube channel geek. So the person who was willing to sort of scour across the YouTube to try and find some really obscure collection of, of statistics. And luckily, I suppose, the, the file it corrupted. Yeah. It corrupted. Now, I did actually manage to upload it. And I think it managed to get sort of like three or four comments of people saying, yes, whoever wins this competition deserves to because it was hard. There were some really hard questions. Uh, so it was really a bit of a blessing in disguise. Now, this competition was to win the Glasgow Warrior Dungeon Commanders. Has it got all the models? It's got some of the models. <laughs> it's I bet got, it doesn't have the Storm Colour, does it? No, it's got Storm, oh, storm Colour. Oh, that's cool. That's it, the, it's the Hornblower, and it was because we got given this by Element Games, because yeah. um, this got returned to them because there was a fine cast defect, apparently, with the, the Hornblower. Which is why we can use it for competition. Of course, we can't just go out and buy models all of the time to get yeah. to you guys. Uh, so this was very kindly donated by Element Games, so we're going to use it for a competition. So you're going to get the Banner Bearer, the captain and the storm club, which is the ones you really want for elves. Yeah, it has already been unboxed, so <clears throat> I can just pull it out here to show you guys. So, yep, yeah, we've got the. We could do an unboxing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, these are gorgeous fine cast models. <laughs> we've got the storm caller, you've got the banner, and you've also got the captain there. Yeah. So, pretty cool. So, uh, <laughs> we've been thinking about these questions, and we decided to just kind of narrow it down a little bit. Um, and also to stop us from having to having to watch all the videos and find it out as well, because it's just as hard for us to do as it is for you guys. So what we're going to do instead, Jamie? What we're going to do instead is we're going to put a YouTube annotation into one of the videos, and basically it's going to have sort of like a, a phrase on it, basically. And we want the first person who finds it to private message us on the I Love Wargaming at Gmail dot com email address with the video it's in. So I'm getting weird. Uh, the video it's in the time it's at and what the phrase is going to be and it will be in one of the either battle reports or the unboxing videos. Yeah, and we might as well say that the phrase is I found the... No, 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 we don't want to say what the phrase is because people know what they're looking for. Oh, right, okay. But then they do have to really kind of look for it. Yeah, but if we do a big big annotation that sort of just covers the screen... Oh, right, okay. Then they're going to know they find it. Should we say like a... It's going to be like a talking quote? It's going, to be a, it's going to be a quote or something Lord of the Rings or Hobbit related. Okay, so it's going to be a talking quote. Your job is to get out there. Now, it's not going to be in sort of any of the videos. It's going to be in either a battle report, um, an unboxing. Yeah. And it's just going to be between those. So you've just got to go have a little bit of a look through those videos and you're trying to find that big talking annotation... Um, that's going to come across the screen, and you, again, you've got to give what what it is, what the words are, what video it's in, and what time it appears at. What time does it start to appear? Yeah. Make sure that you're accurate with that. So it's down to you guys to go and scour that. We want to see who is the biggest GBHL geek. The first person with the correct answer. There's no luck around, and we're not going to do a draw. No, people no. Who get correct answers. The first, first person going to get this beautiful box of Galadrim Command set. Commanders. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to get. Now, we do have a couple of competitions which are going on at the moment. We're not yeah. too far away from... Not far away from one. It was before March 15th, if we get 1,000 subscribers. It was before the tournament. Oh, was it before the tournament? Okay, before the tournament. you've got longer. Uh, April the 12th and 13th, if we get 1,000 subscribers, we will do the draw for the Gandalf the Grey, the most recent uh, pose release with the different staff, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we're about 170 away. In order yeah. to be, be put into that draw, you had to go onto that competition video and you needed to put down that you were a first age subscriber. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't done that and you just think, you know, I might win it because I'm a subscriber, it doesn't work like that. There's no sort of magic list of all of our subscribers. You have to comment on that video and yeah. say, I'm a first age subscriber and that's how you get into the draw. Yeah. But first and foremost, we need to get to a thousand. Yeah. So make sure you, you are sharing the videos and make sure you are sort of just 
Pass them on to your friends who are war gamers and might be interested. Yeah, try and spread the word, guys. Support your Hobbit hobby. Get out there. Get people to subscribe to our channel. I think we're 170 off 1,000. Yeah, yeah. There or thereabouts. 169. I just checked. 169 off? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Plus, very good. Hopefully, we'll see when we do X-Ring Week, we'll see a big increase in that through X-Ring subscribers, potentially. Yes, indeed. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed, indeed. So, that's our competition. You need to go out there. You need to find... Those details, find out which videos it's in, when it appears, and you will get yourself, you're the first person this year, and we will announce the winner as soon as... Also, one quick update on ticket sales. We yes. are, I think we've, we've sold 35. We've got one plus one day ticket. Yep, so we sold 36. We sold 30, 36 tickets, so we're four off getting the um, next, what is it, is it Rangers? No, the next one is the Palace Guard. Next Palace Guard. So we're four off that, 14 off Rangers, and 15, uh, 24 off... Um, Barrels out of bond. Yeah, and you've only got a couple of weeks now. Um, two weeks. Two weeks, almost, yeah. yeah. Just over two weeks left to try and unlock them. So make sure you are telling your friends if they're going to buy a ticket, buy it sooner rather than later. Because as you say, that X-Wing tournament is getting its tickets sold. It is indeed. Um, yeah, get in there quickly, guys. You know, we've not got long left. I know there's a lot of people there saying, oh, you know, still need to find out about whether we can get, get it off, etc. Get those tickets booked before March the 15th to unlock the stretch goals. It's very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. It's been GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. Hey, Paul. You oh. can do this one, Paul. I'll say good luck in the tournament. Support your hobby hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming. The tournament. The